Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. And today we, it's Harvest Fest. So let's spend a Harvest Fest holiday with Adrian and the girls and Summer who's just gone back to bed for some reason. Uh, no, don't grab a serving. Let's cook a grand meal. Grand breakfast. It's for eight in the morning. Let's cook a grand breakfast. Although, to be honest, I don't know if that's vegetarian. Is that vegetarian? It better be. It doesn't say whether it is or not. But we have all the Harvest Fest fun stuff. We have to decorate the house. We've got to appease the gnomes. We've got to have the grand meal. The gnomes outside the door. Um, I don't know if we've got any decorations. I doubt we've got any decorations, so let's get a decoration box. Um, we want that one. What colour? I like that colour. And for now we'll just put it in the corner of the hallway. The girls, what are the girls doing? They're doing their homework, it looks like. They are. See, they're such good girls. Doing the homework. Oh, we have we have the Grim Reaper gnome in here. All right, so there's one in there. There are... No, no, has Grimmy moved? Nope, there's still... We've got two Grim Reaper gnomes and a bear gnome. I think that's enough for everybody. All right, well, Summer, you need to get up because I don't know why... You were still sleeping. And you want to use the toilet. Go use the toilet. Adrian, what are you doing? Um, Caleb, no. I know you want to... They're, they're being thankful for Adrian's promotion and stuff, but I mean, you know, Adrian's supposed to be cooking. So, Rosina, you can appease the gnomes. Okay, so the Grim Reaper, he wants pie. Uh, give pie. Oh my god, Adrian, what the hell? Adrian. Alright, fine. You don't want to cook? Fine. Summer, you take over. All right, Rosina. We got a bear. What does the bear want? The bear wants... He wants coffee. I don't blame him. And... Rosella... Oh, he doesn't want coffee. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. Ah? Huh? Okay. Oh my god! Someone won, won the lottery! <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, that is the first time that has ever happened in any of my games. Okay, because I was just about to say, I didn't give them any money. Well done, Summer. We love you. We definitely love you. Right, come and appease the gnome. Plead for forgiveness. I think you'll plead for forgiveness twice. And then you're okay. Oh no, he wanted pie. He wanted pie. Where's he gone? Oh Lord. Okay, are you dazed? Are you... No, you're okay. Plead for forgiveness again. Adrian, you, um... Expert repair. There you go. 
That is awesome. Okay. I can't believe they won the lottery. I mean, that we've we've set up everybody for life. Definitely set for life. All right, so the gnomes are appeased. Adrian, you can call everybody for breakfast. Call to grand meal. Um, we can fix that later. Where's the girls? What are they doing? Oh, they're just sitting there. Summer, for somebody who won the lottery, you're not looking... I don't know. You're not, you're not looking very happy. And you don't want to sit, sit at the table either. Summer, really? Why are you being so antisocial? Is it a sad movie? Okay. Summer, sit at the table. If I tell her to sit there, is she going to sit and eat? Uh, we have to put up the decorations. Well, Summer, you can do that. Uh, put up decorations. And we have beautiful flashy lights things. <laughs> oh god, they sound so happy. They all sound so happy. Alright, well then you couldn't... Why are you embarrassed? Oh, because you've had a breakout. Alright, um, be thankful... Do we get the whole be thankful thing? Be thankful. And you can be thankful with your dad. Um, friendly. And... Alright, that's your holiday taken care of. Adrian, you don't want to be thankful because uh, you ignore that so you should have done the gnomes but anyhow you've you've got a bit of a flash behind you you're okay you're awesome all right you need to be thankful and where's be thankful be thankful be thankful with your dad and be thankful with your sister or share harvest fest excitement. Yeah, you're eating breakfast and you're thinking about junk food. Typical kids, you give them good food and it's like, no, I want to be eating junk. Okay, do we have... Everybody's got some kind of flash behind their name. Okay. So should we get some... Who wants to do gnomes? Let me see. Rose, Rosella, Adrian, and Summer. Let's buy some more gnomes. I know, I think... Before we do that, oh well, Summer's got it without having to buy any gnomes. Okay, Adrian, you can be thankful with your, with your daughter. Um, more choices. Be thankful. Why are you up? Oh, it had meat in it. See, it didn't say it was vegetarian safe. That is the annoying thing. Uh, use. Oh, we have, a, we have a gnome that hasn't been appeased. Okay, who wants it? Summer, you're very happy. Adrian. Adrian, you can appease the gnome. But the only thing is, we need to see what he wants. It's another Grim Reaper. He wants pie. Alright, appease the gnome. 
give pi. All right, well, everybody's doing stuff. Um, can you not repair it, Adrian? Oh, your daughter's repairing it. Okay, fair enough. So I think everybody's got flashes behind their heads now. Apart from Rosella. Okay, Rosella, be thankful with, um, or share excitement. That could work. Okay, I thought there was a fix for that, that whole getting up and sitting down and stuff. Alright, we need to clear that up, scavenge for parts. So what else should we do today? Alright, we put that away. And throw that away. Maybe they could go out as a family, but I don't know where they should go. Hmm. And you want, you, let's, can you do anything with the gnomes? Sing together. Maisie? was Maisie? I don't know. I'm not bothering with that. Hmm, should we replace the fridge and the stove? I think future generations might, um, might thank us for that. Alright, sell the fridge, sell the stove. And we're going for um, appliances. This one. At fridge. Because they are unbreakable. Where's the Snapple stove? Yep, and the Snapple microwave. If you get Snapple everything, because I think it's all unbreakable. And we can afford it. Uh, no, that's not unbreakable. But we'll go for it. We now need another countertop. Um, get rid of the coffee pot. We don't need any other Snapple thing. Okay. We got that, which is awesome. Everybody's happy. We need to get another gnome. One more gnome, I think. And then that would make everybody happy. And everybody would have sparkles. Let's go for Guardian of the Gnomalaxy. Okay. Although I stand by my assertion, he looks like a Ood from Doctor Who. And he wants a future cube. Yeah, yeah. we're all sorted. Okay, are you playful? You want to be funny with Adrian. Adrian, are you rolling anything? Are you just wanting... You're just wanting mischievous stuff. Uh, well, Adrian, go you... You want to use the toilet? You were thinking about the toilet. But your needs are... Fine. I don't know. 
Are we going to get any seed packets? Are we getting seed packets? Okay. I'm pretty sure we could put those in the household inventory for somebody in the future. I'm sure someone will need them. Okay, so let's do something else. I know where we want to go. Right, it's four in the afternoon. Do they have enough time? I think we'll do that. I mean, they haven't done this since they were kids. So let's go to San Simoleon Beach. Um, households. Rosina, Summer and Rosella. Alright, let's get everybody changed. Uh, no. Uh, outfits. Uh, outfits. Change outfit. I wish there was a way to separate kids from their phones. In this game. Give them like a phone, a phone timeout or something. Change outfit. And I think everyone should go swimming. Oh no, you want to play in the trash. As you do. No, not wade. Swim here together. She's day now she's days from winning the lottery. I think this is a, a oh look at that. Sunset. And she's cold as soon as she hits the water again. That's not good. Have to make sure she doesn't die. But look at that sunset. That is awesome. Very picturesque. Uh, Ros Rosella, you're insecure because slice of life. But I mean, what a relaxing way to spend um, Harvest Fest. You eat, you have good times with your family, and then you go to the beach. And you're supposed to all be swimming around. There you go. And swim with your family. I mean, I think that's a pretty good way to spend the day. And you're angry. Why are you angry? Because you're hot-headed. Alright, come and talk to somebody else. Talk to Leela. And we have... We have the lifeguard. And actually... I know what we can do. Let's light a fire. Did Adrian just throw the... Did he just throw the garbage on the fire? Okay, there's one way to get rid of it. Uh, burn money? No. Dance together. Is that fire dance together? Well, we'll soon find out. Oh my god. Stop with the alien. Wait a minute. Some are you... Oh, your hygiene's poor. Oh, you're just dancing around the fire and not necessarily fire dancing around the fire. Alright, well, let's... Cozy up with... Oh. Never seen that interaction before. Oh, that is so sweet. That is sweet. That is pretty cool. I have never seen that interaction before. And there is our favourite mer merman, Uku. Yep. Uku Pani Panipo? Uku Panipo. I know I've just butchered his name. 
but you know uku works ah uh, rosina friendly introduction when do you grow up let's have a look oh we still got seven days And she doesn't like him anyway. I don't know why. Some are still dazed. Or is she focused now? Oh, she's focused. And she is feeling flirty. Adrian. Oh, Adrian's feeling flirty. So maybe there is some hope for the Adrian Summer relationship then. Now that the girls are all grown up. It's a pity you can't um, build vacation homes. Because I think everybody would want a vacation home in Salami. Adrian, that's the wrong time of year. That's Auld Lang Syne. That's New Year's Eve. Not Thanksgiving. Harvest Fest. No, we're not going. Adrian wants to kiss somebody. And she wants to ask someone to go steady. Well, Adrian. You go and... Do we have... Kiss hands, I think, come will satisfy kiss somebody. There you go. And let's romance. Cozy up at bonfire. Although, I don't know why, well... <laughs> I don't know, this interaction just makes me smile. Okay, um, was that invite to spend the night? Ask to be just friends, um... No. I can't see it. I swear they just had. Invite to spend the night, to stay the night, but they live together. That's a bit random. Romance. Uh, flirt. What else? What was that one? Be funny. Ask someone to go steady. Okay. Sexy pose. Let's spam all the romance stuff. I know you're a bit stinky, but he likes you. It's fine. He can ignore that. Kiss hands. Let's see if we can get it more than a bit can a bit more than casual discussion. Embrace. Uh, romance, suggestive, attempt to seduce. Oh no, they didn't like that one. Oh, maybe because they've got um him sitting. Oh no. Does he not want to be with her? Am I misreading this now? Don't. Oh, God. Why is her hygiene tanking like that? All right, I think it's time to go home. The girls are sleeping. All right, let's go home. Oh, at least now everybody comes home in their, in their correct stuff now. No, we don't want to read. We want to have a quick shower. So, Adrian, you're still feeling flirty, which is cool. 
The girls are focused and happy. And you just want to go to sleep. Maybe we should get the best bed as well. Well, after everybody gets up, we'll get the best bed. Because the main bed should be the best bed. And everyone's tired. We don't have a... a, a we don't have a lot of seed packets, which is good, because once upon a time we would have had tons. Well, maybe because we were out for for half of the day. So we didn't get a chance to generate that many seed packets, because in some, in some of the games that I've played, I've had, like, I've sold, like, three 3,000 simoleons worth of seed packets after after the um the gnomes appear so i think we got off lightly and um, why are you clapping i don't know right you need to go to bed young lady and summer's just cleaning up as you do after a good day. I think everyone's had a good day. Everybody's happy. They went to the beach. They had a good harvest fest. And... And Adrian just seems to be laughing in his sleep. That must be a good thing. Someone won the lottery. All right, Summer, go... No, oh, you're energised. I don't care. Go to bed. Then after harvest first, we can move all the gnomes outside. Everyone's had a successful harvest fest. That's how a successful holiday should be, I think. But now that everyone's waking up, I think this is a good time to leave the episode. And next week, we are going to be cracking on with Adrian's job because Adrian is... Yeah, because he's maxed out his aspiration, which is good. He's at level 8 scientist. So we need to crack on with that because he needs, let me see, if he has 16 breakthroughs, he needs another breakthrough. Maybe what we need to do is bring over the co-workers and have parties or something. Hmm. Because we need to keep his work performance up here. But we got two more levels. We have two more levels, which is which is good. So next time we will well we'll see how we can get Adrian a little bit further. Or maybe if he, he can do something for work, can't he? Um Where is it? Does it come under career? Write research. That's supposed to help. Let's see if his performance bar goes up any. Yeah, not really. Haven't really seen it move. Uh, no, Macy. But this, like I said, this is where we're going to leave the episode. So, um, like I said, a very successful Harvest Fest, Summer won the lottery, and everybody had a good time at the beach. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.